Alrighty guys, welcome to the vlog. Listen, I have searched all day. Well, I can't say that. I tried all day to vlog, but the storm here has been incredible. As a matter of fact, my drive this morning was horrendous. I'm going to show you how bad the rain was right here. This rain is horrendous. Look at the sky. I mean, you can't even. The winds, look at, I mean, terrible, terrible rain. Look at the water down here. Look at that. Terrible rain. Towards our house. Getting bad again, Mama. It, it's almost deceiving through this camera. It looks nothing like it does out here. I can't see nothing in front of me. Nothing. Look at that. My camera sees better than I do. Look. I mean, the worst rain I've ever been in in my life. Ever. Flooding everywhere. Now that rain that you just saw was at 8 o'clock this morning. It is now 8 o'clock at night and it finally has let up enough for me to get out of the house and do a vlog. Today we are at Pigeon Forge Traders. Okay, as soon as you walk in, oh wow. I smell. Look at this. Yes, let me tell you something, guys. This this place smells almost identical to Hillbilly Village. Cherokee. Cherokee. It's got that. It's a moccasin. Moccasin smell. That's what it is. So it's good. leather. It's a leather smell. <gasps> Cast iron cookware. Now, Cat, I know you like enamel cookware, and we're gonna check that out as soon as the storms quit. But I also use cast iron cookware a lot. Do you? Swine wine. <laughs> Look. It's a little piggy to hold your wine bottle. Oh no. Look at this. He looks a little creepy, don't he? He, he looks playful. And he looks mischievous. They look very really <gasps> realistic. He's pretty cool. He's happy. Here's another. Ah, he's just mischievous. Ah. <gasps> Moving on from the pigs to the bears. See, it says welcome. Not welcome. <laughs> I guess the oh, I guess the people here don't like visitors, do they? They do have some really nice things here. This is cool. I like this. Salt and pepper holder. Can't bear to see you go, guys. Can't come back and watch another vlog. Can't bear to see you go. On from the bears to the cows. There's the bovine brew, just like the little pig, and there's salt and pepper shaker holders. Everything you can have pig, cow, bear, or apple sets. This reminds me of the apple barn stuff I was in. Hillbilly bird feeder, guys, check this out. It's a plunger and a tree stump. Oh, that is awesome. Unbelievable. What is this? Oh. Either hillbilly or redneck bird feeder. Hmm. And guess what? You ain't welcome here. You just ain't welcome. Get gone, he says. He says, get gone. See that gun he's got in his hand? You better get gone. Or get your spice. Here you go. I should get this one for Becca. He's actually pretty cool. You know, Jacob the Carpetbagger did a thing on is hillbilly or redneck a derogatory word but I don't think so I don't think so so I show you everything because here it's everywhere I mean look we're in the, we're in the gift shop redneck coffee cup hillbilly shot glass hillbilly cell phone chew tobacco spit cup hillbilly whoop everything look hillbilly money clip I got you a Got you. What is this? Hillbilly chopsticks. Now that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Wow. 
hillbilly toothpick. Hillbilly lighter. Look at that. There's some matches in there. Hillbilly flashlights. There's hillbilly everything, man. It's really, really cool. Hey, going with my vlog yesterday, moonshine sitter. One more hillbilly tool, and it's the hillbilly pizza cutter. It's a piece of stick with a can lid stuck on it. And guys, here's your complaint department for this uh, vlog channel. Complaint department. What you do is you push that red button if you don't like the vlogs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <gasps> By the way, guys, my son's with me today. He's got the hillbilly woman tamer in his hand. <laughs> what is this? Hillbilly chainsaw. It's got a spark plug and a chain. <laughs> Alrighty, who wants some some cheddar cheese larvettes? Original worm snacks. Look at that. Y'all want Y'all want some of them worms right there to eat on? I might get I might send you one of those in the giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> they have all kinds of stuff. Look at this. Slow pokes. Black cows. Wow, they got all kinds of good. They got zat or zots. I like zots. These things, oh, yeah. I might buy some of them before we leave. Yeah. Enjoy our local honey. Wow, look, guys, this is real Smoky Mountain honey. All different kinds. Look at this honey sticks. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I've had these different flavor honey, but I didn't know we had a bunch of local honey. We may have to get some of that. Like this one right here. That's about the size. How much? Same price as honey in the store? I bet this is delicious. All right, guys, look. He said he wanted to be in the video. <laughs> this is the store. Actually, this is this store's been here a long time, hasn't it? It has. It's been here several, several years. About 40 that, years, I think. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. About 40 years, she said. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. And I told you that this is one of the longest running probably gift shops around here. It is. It See? Is, indeed. That'll be my title. Longest running gift shop in Pigeon Forge. Or one of the longest running. That way it's true. Look at all the, uh, this is cedar right here. My grandma has this, or my grandma, my grandma died when she was 98 years old a couple of years ago, but she has a lot of this, had a lot of this cedar, and now I have it. A lot of cedar. Oh, that's funny. I was talking about my grandma. Look, world's greatest grandma. Okay, so I walked towards the back back here, and I, do you remember that fat pig I showed you up front? The, the little statue fat pig? Look at these. Fat squirrel. Fat raccoon. Really cool. Look, fat rabbit. If these, what are these? Are these piggy banks, or they're just, they're just fat animals? <laughs> and I want them. I'll be there for you. You're awesome. So, we leave the pigs, the bears, and we come to the owls. Guys, this is a birdhouse right here. And I think it's the, one of the coolest birdhouses I've ever seen. I know, you know, I don't know who likes birdhouses, but a little birdhouse like this hanging in your tree, it's a little camper. That's a cool place for a, for a bird to live. I like it. <laughs> Beautiful artwork back here in the very back. Reasonably priced too. That's a this is a huge. It looks. I mean, that's really nice wood frame. One fifty nine for the whole painting and the frame, which I really like the frames. Look at the, look at these frames. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nicer than just a regular. Oh, you know the cheap wood frames. You know, if you bought a cabin up here, what better? would you furnish it with than bear than bears i think you know if you had like a like a log cabin and furnished it with like that <laughs> we was in his mouth he's scary but if you furnished a cabin with all this stuff and decorated it with the bears and the wolves look at the wolves if you decorated it with this kind of stuff, I think it would be really nice. Foxes? Is that fox? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, now we have the vintage buck. Look at him. Looks like he's choking. This thing's pretty cool right here. It says, all critters welcome. <coughs> now we're to the snakes. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't care for snakes too much. So these I wouldn't be getting. Say, stop that, guys. We wanted background music. Yeah, that background music was horrendous. Sounded like the thunder that's been thundering for the last 13 hours. Now look at this poor horse. I'm sorry, but I don't look too comfortable to me. I think, last but not least, we are at the eagles. Wow, look at these eagles. Oh, there's the eagle that holds the bottle. Really cool. Here's a bunch of different hats. Cowboy hats. Cowgirl hats. Ah, my favorite color. How you doing, folks? Partner. Just like I said when we walked in the door, moccasins. And, or my wife said, really. Uh, moccasins. That's where... This smell is coming from moccasins. These are real Minnetonka uh, moccasins too. Very, very nice. Really soft leather. Really, really nice. You know what? I wonder, I wonder if I like a pair of these. These are pretty nice right here. But those are more like shoes. I want some real, like these. You can see the bottom? They're real, real flexible. Look at the bottom. See, it's leather, and then it's got the pads that make it really flexible. I like these. $83.98. Back. Somebody will get a kick out of this. Tennessee Mountain Dew. I think you're supposed to put shine in this bottle. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get it and put Mountain Dew in it. And that's what I'd like in it. Guys, I saw these t-shirts from across the store. Check this out. This is a bib. You put it on your baby, and look, it's at a kid. Look at it. These are some of the coolest shirts I've ever seen. Look how they spelt chocolate milk with the Basset Hound. You just add your youngin and that's what they look like. Boy, that's something cool right there, buddy. Holy cow. I wish I would have seen these when my youngins were small enough to, to wear them. I'd wear one right now if they made a shirt big enough. Mm, that gives me an idea for my spread shirt. Here's some... Here's some goat milk soap, goat milk lotion. You know, really, I heard that this was good stuff. Wow, they guys, they they personally know the person that makes this stuff right here, hand or locally handmade. Wow, they give some of that away too. Okay, guys, listen. I gotta get home and edit this because this has to be up by midnight and it's about 10 o'clock right now, so. Say bye. Thank you guys very much bye. Bye. for letting me vlog in here and I'll be back to talk to you. He's, guys, he's gonna bring me on a zip line. We've never been on a zip line. There's our tour guide right there. We'll be back within a week or so. When this rain goes away, we'll come and we'll go. Is that awesome, cool? Brother. Alrighty, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Very Bye. nice people. Thank you. Extremely Bye. nice.